So as you can see, I decided to make a little uh, R6 Siege jump from Rainbow Six Siege. I've played the game for quite a bit now and I decided, you know, since I've learned how to do a bunch of this stuff, I would try and make one of these. Now, while I was making this, I didn't have access to a 3D printer. Now I do, but while I made this, I didn't. So it's, you know, quite rough around the edges. Everything's made with hand tools and PVC pipes and stuff. So, you know, the construction is the best, but as you see, it works just fine. So this is the outside, it's all painted, spray painted black. These two are the stabilizers so it doesn't roll when moving, it rolls straight. We have two wheels on its side. These are from, I don't remember, they're, they're quite famous, like the little D connector here, I think, I don't remember. Then we have screws over here for taking these apart. And when you take these out, you'll see that this these two parts split and you'll have actual electronics. Here is a little camera because of course there has to be cameras from Rainbow Six Siege. So that's about the outside. Now let's see what the inside uh, looks like and what all is in here. By the way, this is a custom-made little screwdriver with like, you know, uh, with an INU in it so it can detect movement. I might make a video in it later on, but for now I just use for this. So, we've unscrewed all the parts and these parts just come right off. And when these parts come off, if we open this up, you can see all the electronics. Take the other part out, it's quite a bit wedged in there. And this is all the brains of the operation. Now we'll come back to this in one second. Let's take a look at these parts first. These are all just the PVC pipe and the thing and the wheel. And inside here, you might be able to see the motor. These are small micro uh, micro metal motors, like the geared ones. And they're pretty popular, they're quite small and they're actually pretty strong. Uh, they have a little DuPont connector stuck on the front, you can see a little two pin DuPont that then immediately interfaces with these two pins here, you might be able to see them. So this just directly just slots in here and gets attached to the motor, so you can just remove these and work on this. So these are the two parts, they're essentially the same thing. So let's move over to the brains of this operation. This here is based around an ESP32 uh, cam. It's called an SP32 cam. It is a little tiny board with very little I.O. but it does have an integrated camera. Other than that, it's quite a complex thing. We mainly have some plastic to hold everything together. We have a motor driver based on the LN298, I think. You can just buy this whole thing as a kit. Under here is just, oh, there it is, LN, oh, L298, sorry, L298N. And here we have screwed over the, this, hot glue and stuff. We have a switch that turns the thing on and off. Here's the three position switch. One is off, the other, the middle one is, uh, when you want to program it, you use this little connector here to program it, this thing over here. You just plug a little uh, FTDI converter here. Uh, just like, you know, here you have like the converter, you can just, if you take these cables off, I was using for something else. Second. You can just go and just plug it right into like that and then just, you know, connect it to there. Uh, and there's nothing really else about this that's any interesting. It's a very simple project, like you think about it. And yeah, there's not much else, like the connecting to the wires here, wires here. Uh, now, when it comes to power, I use, uh, if I could find it, one second. So after quite a bit of searching, I found the little thing, the little battery. This is a 7.42 cell LiPo from Turnigy. I bought it from Hobby King. 
it is 370 milliamp hours and you can run the little drone for about 10 to 20 minutes and this is actually perfect for this because it fits very snugly as I will demonstrate right now so once you find this little the side that it goes you need to match it to the camera cutout so for example this one fits here so you follow where the camera goes and the camera will always get snuggly you can follow this little cutout and then before you put the other side actually you will sneak the little battery in here and then you just connect the connector over here and then after you connect to that you can just hide that thing over here and then just cover it back up so that's essentially how you do that it's a very good design even though i didn't have a 3d printer had i had a 3d printer i would design the wheels myself to make it look like the actual grew in the game i would make this be a bit nicer than what it is right now i would definitely design the carrier better but whatever i have it in works it was just a fun thing i made in a couple of uh, weeks while you know not having much time to do anything else so that's about it. It's a very simple project and I really just wanted to get the, a video. I haven't had one in a while because I'm working on a few bigger projects. Uh, so that's about it. I am uh, going to show you uh, a bit more footage of the, of the drone moving around. Now about the programming of the Spirit 32, uh, because of the time crunch, I didn't do it myself. I essentially kind of modified a code from uh, another YouTuber that I will link in the description. Uh, big thanks to him even though he didn't say that he used, uh, you know, anyways, I did. Big thanks to him, his code is great, it's, it's honestly very well polished and it worked very well. You can check his GitHub, I'll put it in the description. And if you're making anything like this, uh, please use it and go and subscribe to him, give him support, honestly, his work is great. He's made a video on the step-by-step -step and it was really good, even though we have some uh, different designs like he uses like uh, lithium-ion batteries and then I use lithium polymer, but like small differences. Uh, go check him out, the link in the description, uh, his stuff is great. So I'll end up with the footage and that was all I had to say about this little cute little drone that I worked. This took about, um, I don't know, maybe a week in like cutting things, the little soldiering and the design and, the, and stuff like that. It's a really easy, uh, really simple project and if you can make one, it's a great little toy as well, you can just joke around. So that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching uh, this little video. I will try to get some more videos out and some better stuff. I I have a coil gun and like a CNC router that I'm working on and a little like 3D printed stuff and this like screwdriver took like a whole two months to make. So yeah, I hope I can put some more videos out soon. So yeah, be excited for the future. Uh, that's it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.